Meet Rosie, the two ton, five meter great white shark that was stumbled across by a YouTuber when he explored an abandoned wildlife park. She's taxidermied and her home was a huge leaky tank filled with formaldehyde. Rosie has captured the hearts of people across the world. Who knew so many people would fall in love with a big stuffed shark? But hey, they did, and I'm gonna tell you her story right now on IO. What is good? This is Inform Overload, the channel that brings you the biggest and most interesting viral news stories on the internet. I'm Charlotte Dobre, hit that like and subscribe if you like my shark shirt and follow the IO team on Instagram. Rosie the shark do 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 Rosie shark do 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 Rosie shark! All right, so Rosie the shark died back in 1998 after she was caught in a tuna fishing net in South Australia. Initially, she was on display at the Victorian Eco Center. She moved around for a while and was then placed at the Wildlife Wonderland Park in Bass, which is just south of Melbourne, Australia. Kept in a tank with a preservative known as formaldehyde, she called Wildlife Wonderland Park her home for 20 years. Luke McPherson uploaded a video of Rosie the Great White Shark to YouTube in November of 2018. Luke had been a visitor of the wildlife park when he was young, and he visited the park again in late 2018, but he never thought that he would come across a huge taxidermy shark in a tank. Rosie was completely preserved. One has to wonder why she was even left there in the first place. The green formaldehyde that was leaking out of Rosie's tank is extremely toxic. Apparently the fumes from Rosie's leaky tank were so strong that Luke could only be in that room for a minute. The video he uploaded to YouTube has 11 million views at the time of this recording and for good reason. How crazy is that thumbnail though? Rosie looks like a ghost shark. And it kind of looks like a scene from the apocalypse. Something about Rosie in this tank makes me feel like our oceans are gonna look like that sometime in the next few hundred years if we don't do something about it. But anyways, I'm not gonna bore you with my environmental concerns. Let's get back on topic, shall we? <laughs> Social media absolutely exploded when images of Rosie started to go viral. Some people were demanding that something be done because she shouldn't have been abandoned the way she was. A Facebook page was started called Save Rosie the Shark that quickly garnered over 4,000 followers. It's amazing that so many people rally for a dead shark, but hey, that's the power of the internet for you. But one of the main reasons why Rosie caught the public's interest was because there were a lot of people who were trying to break into the abandoned wildlife park. And these people weren't just out for a lovely stroll. Unfortunately, some even took it upon themselves to vandalize and destroy Rosie's tank. Vandals took the top off the tank, releasing the formaldehyde even further, which is super dangerous, but also the formaldehyde would evaporate. The vandals also threw trash in her tank as well as a broken television, which is like, like what was the point of that? Was that a statement? Are you the new Banksy or something? Poor dead shark. This is why we can't have nice things, guys. So it actually got to the point where local police were sending out warnings to people to stay away from the park. According to Ripley's Believe It or Not, if no one preserved the shark, more liquid would evaporate, her condition will worsen, and she will most likely be destroyed. Because of the evaporating liquid that escaped out of the top of the tank, Rosie was no longer fully submerged in the formaldehyde. Thankfully, enough people were concerned about the shark's well-being that Rosie has found a new home. Crystal World and Prehistoric Journeys in Meadows promised to restore Rosie's tank, and do their best to restore Rosie. She will be on display at the Devon Meadows site at Crystal World so everyone can go and see her. Anyways friends, that is all I have for you on this story. I'm gonna wrap up this video by responding to some comments from our video. Elon Musk is hosting meme review and no, it is not clickbait. The Mew guy said, roses are red, violets are blue. Elon Musk is hosting meme review. Wow, what a beautiful poem. You're the next Robert Frost. BJ Max said, your relaxed attitude when you're reading the comments is fantastic and infectious. Hey, get them to let you be yourself more during the scripted bits. Okay, uh, I'll definitely take that into consideration, but sometimes when I keep it chill, people ask me in the comments what's wrong. Like, like I can't just be like a normal person. Nothing's wrong, I'm just like not a presenting person in real life. By the way, if you wanna see more of what I'm like in real life, I have a personal channel that I post on every week, so definitely check it out. Scooter Grover video said, oh my God, I love your hair. It's, it's like really poofy lately. Like I don't have the, I don't have the right product and it's just like out of control. Sorry. Gaming with Ray said, amazing news. Next meme. Pro Gamer video said, I always probably my favorite way of getting news. Thanks. You're welcome. The video is over. To keep watching IO, click on that playlist and obviously leave a like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.